Right, so I get asked a lot about motivation and people say, Tate, what motivates you? And I find that extremely, I think that's a stupid question. What motivates me? Because I don't want to be a loser. Like who wants to be a loser? I've always wanted to be rich because I know I deserve to be rich because I see how many stupid people are rich. Look at any rapper and have a look at any of their interviews and see how low their IQ is. And these people are millionaires. So if they're a millionaire, I definitely deserve to be a millionaire. So I've always had motivation for the same reason I want to be big and strong and rich. And I want to be all these things because I'm me. So I was talking to somebody the other day and they said, why are you motivated? And I said, because I don't want to be a loser. And they said, yeah, I understand that. But why are, were, are you so uncomfortable with the idea of being average loser? Um, and you have to push so hard. So I guess my typical response wasn't enough for him. So I sat there for a little bit and I thought, and I thought, what is the reason I have always been so driven my entire life? What made me so brilliant? From a young age, I was a professional chess player and then I became a professional kickboxer and then I became a multimillionaire businessman, blah, blah, blah. Why have I always pushed so hard? And I think one of the key elements to it is because I was always extremely proud of my last name, Tate. And the reason for that is, in the environment I grew up around, whenever the name Tate was said, people put respect on the name. So when I used to go to professional chess tournaments with my father, who was one of the best chess players in the world, people would say, oh shit, Tate's here. Everyone was scared. And the name invoked fear. The name invoked respect automatically, just the name, Tate. Every time something was happening to me that was difficult or I had a challenge ahead of me, et cetera, et cetera, I was motivated with my own last name. So it's like, oh, dad, I'm worried about this, or mom, I'm scared about this. And they say, yeah, but you're a Tate. It's like, oh yeah, I am scared, but I am a Tate. So it's okay, because I'm, I'm, I'm a Tate. Even now, even as successful as I am, most people would look and go, oh, my, look at my child, they've done this, they've done this, they've done this. I guarantee as a child, I outperformed any of you as children. And I guarantee if you have children, I, would, I outperformed your child. This is the reality of it. I was moved up three grades in school. I had one of the highest SAT scores in history. I was a chess champion age five, blah, 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 blah. So state chess champion in the under 16 year olds at age five, the youngest in history. In fact, I remember being five years old and playing a whole bunch of 10 year olds. There's four of them on a team against me. I remember sitting there and whooping them all. So uh, I was a genius, child genius, adult genius, whatever, whatever. But I was never told, oh wow, you're so smart. For me, it was just normal. They're like, yeah, you're a tape. Oh, they moved me up three grades of school. Well, duh, you're a tape. A lot of parents are very, very surprised by the success of their children. I'll see it, they go, he's one of the best in his class. And I'm like, so? He's, he's one of the best, so he's not even the best, of a group of random, 30, 30 random average losers. He's not top 1% in the world at anything. And you're so proud of him, and you're gonna sit there and go, wow, great job, great job. And that's why he's never gonna become shit. So I guess the moral of the story is, I was raised for success. And if you're sitting there and you're thinking, oh, I wanna be more motivated, I wanna be more motivated, you have two things to do. One, stop being proud of your achievements, which are extremely minor. Oh, look what I did today. What'd you do? Is it actually impressive? Genuinely, the answer is no, one. And I'm saying that as, I mean like, cause even me in my life, I, if I win a kickboxing world title, okay, I'll be proud of myself. Outside of that, well, I bought, oh, I bought a new car, well, who cares? All the things you're so happy about, all the things you brag about, it's bullshit things. It's things everyone does every day and it's not important, one. And two, you need to make your name important. You need to make your name important. You have to find a way to invoke a level of respect on your name. And the only way you do that, the only way you can possibly do that is by achieving things that others cannot do.